everybody welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing this I know it's a brown box right you can probably tell by the title of this video already what it is I recently well not recently I think I pre-ordered this book back in April or March of this year when I saw it was gonna be released and it came in the post yesterday. This was actually released like what well, last week and on this this is like a two day shipping. But I think it was like lost in the post for a while because it should have been here like a week ago, more than a week ago but regardless I pre-ordered this ages ago, I paid for it and it's here. And in case someone doesn't know what I'm talking about, this is the Mina Lima illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Not the Sorcerer's Stone, if you're American, Philosopher's Stone. I'm not gonna lie and say that I haven't had a sneak peek already. But I got this like literally like 6 p.m. last night and I did open it just to have a look, but I haven't gone any further. Should I talk about it first or should I just open it? Should we just open it? So when you open it, this is what you get. All the packing slips. This is published by Macmillan. It was 27 euro, which is actually like really not that bad. I thought it was gonna be like a lot dear because it's like, you know, it was like a limited edition, kind of, well not limited edition, but it's like a special edition book. And I was prepared to spend a lot more money. If anybody knows me, I have a slight obsession with Harry Potter. I don't, you know how some people like anime or Disney or like Marvel or something? This is, Harry Potter is that for me. Like I don't geek out about many things, but I geek out about Harry Potter. Like I'm obsessed. I love it. Just to put into perspective, I've seen Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the very first Harry Potter, I saw it in the cinema. I'm still a kid at heart when it comes to Harry Potter, like I love it. And the one thing, I, I don't own any of the books, which I know is like sacrilege, but I really wanna buy like special ones. And I saw this and I'm like, this is the start of my collection. So right, we'll open it. And it just kind of like sits in like this. Oh, get rid of that cardboard. So this is what it looks like. Ta-da! Comes in a little plastic sheet. It's really heavy. It's got like quite a weight to it. I don't think I paid any for shipping. Or maybe, did I? It's been that long, girl. I don't know. Maybe I did, but this should have charged me a lot for the shipping. So yeah, and then it comes with this on the back. Harry, you're a wizard. Mina Lima presents the first Harry Potter adventure fully illustrated in color and featuring eight amazing interactive elements to pour over and enjoy. Yeah, essentially, if you don't know, hold on, we'll just get like a good shot of it. I'm gonna put pictures up on my Instagram, but I look at the side. Like how beautiful. It is so beautiful. Okay, so let me explain who... Mina Lima, who are the ones who illustrated this book, they are two pe a man and a woman, it's like their surnames. And they, they, they were the illustrators on like the first couple of Harry Potter films, I believe. So they did like the drawings for, you know, like the newspapers and stuff, they kind of did all of that. And they actually own, or they actually run and own like a bookstore in London, which when I saw that, I saw this all on Facebook because I was wondering who Mina Lima, this site got adver like, advertised to me, because obviously. They own a bookstore in London and I so wanna go. Someday when I get to London, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna go visit that store. Now, my advice, what I didn't know, you can order this book off Mina Lima as well they're on facebook i'll like link it down below 
and I'll link where I got this too. But they were selling them signed copies and I am really, really annoyed at myself that I didn't get a signed copy. But I pre-ordered this ages ago and by the time I realized, you can cancel your orders obviously, but by the time I realized that this, you could get it signed, um, it already took my money. I wasn't gonna return this, so it's, it's like it's not the biggest deal, but I'm kind of a little bummed that I didn't get it signed. It is so pretty, like on the outside, it's like a proper like library book. I know that doesn't make any sense, but this is like the definition of a book you want to put on a shelf. Does that make any sense? Okay, so we open a few pages and see. Designed and illustrated by Mina Lima. It's like just so pretty. Like the very first, this is like the very first page. The boy who lived. Like the pictures are so pretty. I cannot wait to read this book. But like even with like the normal pages are also illustrated. Like around the edges and in between. And there are pop-ups as well because I've seen like tidbits of it like on Facebook and stuff because they were advertising it but yeah. Ooh, this is the first little pop-up we've got. They actually, it comes with like little bits, ooh, little cards in the middle to like protect it which I appreciate. If I had kids, which I don't, but I would not let them touch this book. I'm too scared to even touch this book because I want to keep it nice. But this is like, will we open it and I'll show you what it is. See like, it's like a little clock. It's got that like new book smell as well. Oh my God, I am obsessed. I'm just gonna like flick through and like show you like a couple, ooh. Oh my God, it's got the little, I love like these little protective things. It's got um, his letter to Hogwarts in it. Do you see that? I want to show you this one because look how cool that is. They're the ones who illustrated like all the writing and stuff. And it's got like the, do you know when they read notes and stuff? It's actually, oh, I don't want to bend that. It's actually got the like the words in between like the little notes in between like the book and stuff i'm gonna get all these little like slithers of paper out hopefully that they do, hopefully like this is like a, a continuous thing and they have i'm pretty sure they do have like other illustrators i need to look that up because i want to like continue my collection but i hope um I hope me and Lima do more because I love, love this. I love it. I love it so much. I'm such a geek. I love it. Right, I think this is what I saw on Facebook. I think this is what they show everybody. Because I don't want to like ruin it too much because... Yeah, if you're going to get it, get it for yourself. But this is Diagonally. How can I show this without breaking the norm? Can you see that? Hopefully if I hold it like this. Hopefully you can see some of that, but like how cool. It's got like Gringotts. And it's just, it's just so cool. And it's definitely like a collector's book. And one, yeah, one like you'll want to keep. I'll show you like another example of like the chapter headings. That's like chapter 14. I hope I'm not showing too, I'm trying not to like show too much, but like, again, just like show you how like pretty it is. Cause it's so, so pretty. This has to be my favorite one. Hold on, can I get her to move? Oh, you pull it out. You see her eyes moving? So yeah. I think that's all for this video. I really just wanted to show you how pretty 
and unbox it because I've been waiting for this book for months and it's very beautiful it's in such good quality and yeah I hope there's many many more to come because I will buy all of them I definitely will so yeah this is what it looks like I'm gonna spend the rest of my day probably watching or watching reading this and looking at all the beautiful pages I really need to like get like a I'm actually considering I need a bookshelf I need a bookshelf just to display this because this is way way too pretty to hide away so yeah I will put all of the links to this book and um, we can buy them down below I will put my Instagram down below and I'll throw in some pretty shots of this at the end um, and I'll take some pictures and put it on my Instagram as well so yeah anybody slightly Harry Potter obsessed like I am um, yeah this is a very very good buy and a good find so yeah there's not much more to say I think the book speaks for itself so thank you very 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 much for watching like this video subscribe to my channel subscribe to all my social medias and if you love harry potter just as much as i do or you have any other harry potter merch or books that you have found please recommend them down below because i will buy them thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video. Bye.